Hey everybody, good afternoon. Good to see all of you. Uh, hope you're doing well. Gonna play some more Subnautica. Uh, oh boy, my hair is doing a real, a real Superman thing today. <laughs> uh, I'm glad Breeden versus Superman is here because I am both of those things apparently. Um, okay, yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, yeah, I know the game's broken, it's fine. Um, how's everybody doing? I am feeling super gassed. Um, not only am I tired from just having had a very busy couple of weeks, um, I also just did my normal workout and then ring fit on top of it, so I'm very tired. <laughs> feeling good though, feeling physically a little more with it uh, than I was. I think it actually helps my wrist a lot. I need to make sure I stick to my every two days schedule. Toby's here. <laughs> well, don't stop for me. Go to your bed. Go on. There you go. Hey. All right. Um, so where were we? Uh, I think I just got the, uh, what you call it? This guy. Um, so I suppose the task now is just finding more of those mobile vehicle bay things so that we can create a real vehicle that would get us uh, out of the starting area. Um, wow, the power is draining so quickly from this uh, contraption. What is this thing called again? Sea Glide, right. Um, oh, thanks. Uh, thanks for the sub, Ryan. Um, I don't actually know, Cord, if there is a sub in this, uh, in this sub game. Um, there's the, uh, the truck, but I don't know if the, if the submarine is in this one. Um, at any rate... I, I want to build that that uh, that weird truck. Maybe I should explore the surface here. Yeah, this is the early access um, version, I guess, not animal. They uh, they did a pretty major content update in June. So I felt like it was probably Dangerous worth... Oh, geez. Well, I guess I'm not exploring the surface. Um, maybe I can for a second. I think this may have been the starting area, though. I think it was. Eh, there's probably no reason to go in there, especially when the weather's going to get bad. Um... go this way. I also want to turn off this beacon because I don't care about it anymore. <laughs> what do you want me to do with a penguin? I don't know what to do with this penguin. I can't like pick it up or anything. I mean it, it's just a penguin. It's a cool looking penguin. Um, I could probably kill that penguin, but I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, oh, geez. Don't know what that thing was. Let's, um, yeah, let's get rid of this beacon. I don't need this thing anymore. Oxygen. Whoops. My inventory is not full. I suspect you just can't do it. All right, pick up beacon. There we go. All right. Got rid of that. I guess I could explore down there a bit more because I have uh, a faster way of getting out, but I'm very paranoid about suffocating, so I don't know that I'm going to try it. 
What's up, buddy? Why are you looking? He's he's looking very um, unsure about this. Just hang out. What's the matter? Uh, Toby's having a decent day, though, overall. He got many long naps. I guess he was just waiting for another treat. Oh, whoa. Sorry, buddy. Uh, it's right there, Toby. It's right there. Hey, look at me. Toby, look at me. Look at Toby. Hey, hey, dummy. Oh, man. Look at my hand. Look at my hand, Toby. Toby, it's right there. Okay, you're you're just you're a mess. <laughs> he thinks it's like underneath him. Oh, he's gonna tear apart that whole bed before he understands where it is. All right, here, let me just point it out. It's right here. It's right there. You just can't see it because you're on the. There you go. <laughs> you're such a dumb dog. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. All right. Um, mm. All right, this is like a spooky zone, but I've got this thing now, so maybe it's a little less dangerous. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, this is table coral. Okay, I've got to go up. Oh no. Oh geez, this is actually, this is actually not good. Um, mm, it didn't warn me in time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm blaming that on Toby. <laughs> um, I lost some things. It looks like I didn't really. Well, so much for permadeath. I only do permadeath runs when I don't die, and then it just becomes a run. Uh, okay, so do I have any more of those ribbon things? I do. All right, let's 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 do this. Yeah, I guess I kind of thought that it was going to account for that, Isis. It does feel like the time in which it warns you uh, is different now that I have the sea glide, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Um, I don't really know, which, really know where to go. Let's see. Uh, I guess away from there. Let's go. Let's go this way. I don't think we've really explored in this direction. How's everybody doing? Sorry I didn't stream yesterday. My um, just had some la last little things to do before I'm on break, and then also uh, my wrist. When I got done with them, it was like my whole like my entire right forearm was basically on fire. Uh, it was very bad, so I had to take the uh, afternoon off, even though I didn't really want to. Uh, I guess that's kind of that. Or make, actually, ooh, is this scannable? No, that's just a thing. Oh, wait, this is scannable, though. Wait, is it? Oh, wait, oh, this is the other thing. Um, there, there's the scanner. Okay. Hey, PM. Oh, nice, Bill. Yeah, I am really trying to not taste my pickles until um, <laughs> until uh, until about a weekend it's tough though I really want to try them but I'm gonna wait <laughs> oh I don't need this whatever Ooh, I 
I like this uh, thermal venti area. This is really cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that a piece? Uh, no, it's a diamond. I'll take it. I feel like it's telling me pretty late. Was that a monster? Did I just hear a monster? Fermented pineapple drink. Wait, is that with the... Um... Oh no, I'm thinking of a different thing. I'm thinking... Oh god. I'm thinking of... Um... <laughs> There's a... There's a drink that I th I can't remember where it originated, um, but uh, it's like a. I think you um, you soak pineapple in vodka. Oh god! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ooh, th these little um, steps here are really interesting. Oh, that's that's dangerous. Okay. Things are getting very extreme here. Ooh. Check this out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is not, not a very safe zone here. Uh, Oh, sea truck fabricator module fragment. Nice. That seems good. Oh man, my inventory is very full apparently. Uh... Ah, sea truck fragment. Nice. Okay. Thirty seconds. Um, oh, I think. I think that's it. Oh jeez. <laughs> Not a good place to surface. I'm gonna go over here maybe. I did miss something, all right. Not the battery. Let's, let's take that for sure. Command chair. It's sometimes unclear what the fragments are. Oh God. Ugh. Spooky noises. Um, all right, good to go. Let's get out of here. Nah. Okay, so that's the island that we explored on Monday. Oh, there's another uh, glacier over here. What? What? Oh, these are... Thanks for following. What are these? Oh, I can't really see. Let's turn the lights on. Whoa! They're green. They're like little, uh, well, they're like enormous lily pads. That's what they look like. Um, maybe let's go down and see where they attach. Oh, it's very deep. I'm not gonna go down there. Yeah, I really like how different this game looks than the, the first game. Um, they, they've done a good job 
at, uh... Wait, what? Oh, I hope that's friendly. It looks friendly. I wanna, I, I wanna go hang out with it, if it's friendly. It looks like a big whale. <laughs> oh man, look at its face! I love it. I wanna ride this thing. Can I ride it? No. Oh, in fact, I can I can go inside of it. Oh wait, interact. Oh 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 oh. Ah, come here, buddy. Interact. Interact. Wait. Oh. Oh no. Maybe I, I can like pet it or something. Is that what that is? Thirty seconds. I'm gonna die trying to pet this thing. Um. Oh, maybe I have to grab the little, like, horns here? Oh! Hey! Oh, cool! I don't think there's any point to this because I don't think you can, like, steer, but, uh... <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Mm, do you think I could make, like, a saddle, maybe? Let's keep going. I think I have. I got. I've got food. I'm pretty far away, but. Oh, interesting, PM. Is that true? Does the uh, oxygen meter just stop moving when you're when you're riding the big fish? Let's test it. Ah. Oh no. Oh, it just, yeah, it, I think it just turns off the UI. I'm not sure that, I'm not sure that it's disabling it. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're at 30, 30. Okay, ah! Stop it. Okay. I think we're at 27 probably there. Oh yeah, it's definitely going down. Definitely going down. It just disables the UI. Ooh. I wonder if you... Oh, oh, there's the planet. We're finally uh, able to see it. Or the moon, I guess, maybe? I don't know. There's anything out here, <laughs> or am I just? Wasting my time. It's gonna be very dark. It's getting extremely dark. Wait a minute, what? Oh. Um, Isis, eventually they had a big monster that ate you. They, the edges of the map were bound by, um, by like super dangerous zones that you couldn't survive. doesn't seem to be happening here, but that, that could just mean that they're not in the game yet. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to go forever. Uh, I mean, I'm not really... I, it does feel like... Is that just the horizon, or is that... Does that look like land? Oh, this is giving me a real, like... Uh, this is simulating nautical uncertainty very well. Where I'm just going to um, think I see something, and then... Uh, head off into the fog and die. Um, yeah, I don't think that's actually anything. And I'm gonna head like this way. Wow, 
God, that looks so cool. Hmm, it's kind of clearing up a bit, although I still don't see anything. Oh no! I dropped it! Oh god. <laughs> oh, there we go. Exchange power source. I forgot how this works. Okay. <laughs> that would have been really sad if I just dropped it and it sank to the bottom of this bottomless ocean. Uh, Alright, let's go this way. The problem I have with replaying the um, original game is that I kind of know... Well, there are areas of the map that I don't know that well, but I've played it enough that I feel like there aren't a lot of surprises left in terms of exploration. Um, the underground stuff, though, all those caverns that you get into in the late game when you have the sub, I still have no real... Uh, mental map of that. Yeah, getting closer. Um, I think though that this. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> what was that noise? I guess it was just a music track. Wow, the music tracks are really creepy. <laughs> Um, hmm. Ooh. Passing one hundred meters. Wow. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What is this stuff? A tree spire. Ooh, I'm pretty far down. Uh, go, 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 go. <laughs> I can't even tell I'm on the server. Okay, there we go. Wow, it is so bleak at times. Um... Okay, yeah, that's definitely a monster and not the music. Um, oh! Oh, I hate it. Uh, I actually hate it. I'm gonna try to get out of this mess. Um, ooh. Oh no. Oh, that's just one of the smaller ones. I think I can get away from these. Oh, hey, look at this. Is this like spacecraft wreckage? Looks like. Uh, maybe I can find a way in? That's just metal, right? Um, oh, but this is a fragment, I think. Nope, that's just metal. I guess all of this is metal. Uh, there's got to be a way into this thing, although I might need the... Um... Thirty seconds. At some point, I'm probably going to need the... Uh 
porch. Hmm. Oh, whoa. What the hell is that? That's a good idea, uh, Isis. I'm going to do that. I'll also get it out of my inventory. Um, okay. Oops. Um, okay. It's like a uh, Metroid. That's just a big Metroid. Ah. There has to be a way into this. I mean, maybe there isn't. It doesn't really actually strike me as um, something you could explore. Let me. Passing 100 meters, 30 seconds. Efficiency decreased. Thanks, Lloyd. Oh, can I scan it? Oh, the jellyfish you mean? No, I couldn't scan it. Oh, hey, you can get in over here. Okay. Oh, God, I, I'm almost about to die. Oh, no! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm super dead. I'm super dead. No way. Well, I gotta think about the beacon there. I can get that beacon. Uh, <laughs> I can... Well, mm... Oh, wow. That was so close. <laughs> I think that's about as close as you can cut it. That was probably within a few frames of death. Um, oh shoot, I lost the entrance now. I think it's this? Yeah, okay. Actually, the beacon might be better placed at the entrance so I can easily figure this out. Boy, I don't have much time. I, already, I think I have to turn around right now. Oh. Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is going to be tough without um, 30 seconds. better stuff. I might have to wait. to have found it though. All right, let's go maybe around the back of this island. I don't think I've explored. I like these guys, uh, these crocodile guys, more than the um, sort of snapjaw uh, fellows from the from the first game. Um, but uh, there are a lot of them. a lot of diamonds. Feels, uh... Oxygen. I'm not really having a hard time finding resources in this one. Okay, so we're on the, around the back here. Let's, uh, let's maybe just follow this wall down for a minute and see if there's anything to see. Ooh, a tunnel. Cave... Ah. Yeah, I'm not sure, Isis. I wonder if um, there are some rare resources that are new, maybe, that we haven't run into. Thirty 
30 seconds. Oh. So wait a minute. I think this is a landmass that I haven't seen yet. Very big. Whoa. I like how um, being out of the water feels more dangerous. Um, I feel like that was a good choice. I mean, it's a little weird in that, like, you kind of feel like the water would be cold, but I guess the fiction they're going with is that the, the ocean waters are warm, or at least warmer, um, and somehow all this ice doesn't melt. Yeah, and also maybe, yes, the wet sea is somehow magic, perhaps. Well, I guess I can't get up there. Um, ooh, this seems promising, though. Let's go this way. Whoa! Ooh, very pretty. Oh, lots of those little jellyfish metroids. Oh, sure. Also in, 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 in real life, wetsuits are good. In this game, though, it seems like we're just probably assuming that this wetsuit is extremely good. <laughs> uh, so this is definitely a thing. Um... Yeah, I need to just like off some stuff. So, what what is this thing and how do I use it? I guess I just don't. Ah, another dock though. A glacial bulb. Dangerous weather approaching. Uh oh. Seek shelter. Of course, the second I find something cool on land. Uh. Uh, Isis, yeah, you can. I just haven't found enough technology pieces yet to uh, to do it. Well, this is a really big area. I'm probably going to need, like... Oh, you know what? I think it's a warmer area. I think that's what this steam is meant to imply. Also, the red... The uh, red shading here. Um... Hmm. Ooh, what's that? Maybe the, oh, you know what? The red shading is actually just the storm coming in. I'm actually, I'm a little afraid. Well, there is a cave here, but I'm going to have to find some water. Okay, I'm getting a little afraid of, of, of this moment. Definitely just going for it. Not sure it's going to work out. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh wait, this is the distress call. I just realized that that beacon is the thing that I've been trying to get to. Ah. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Would not be surprised, Aeon Chicks. Um, this is a really cool area. I 
Can I, like, stand next to this vent and will it heat me, maybe? Because otherwise I'm, I might be in trouble here. Come on! Oh boy, I'm really going all in on this, this, uh... Oh man, there's another one over there. Uh, it's probably going to be done venting by the time I get to it. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Warm me up! Yeah! Okay. Whew. That was close. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What is there to see here? Dangerous weather approaching. Uh -oh. Seek shelter. That's not good. I guess this is just a beacon to mark this. Whoa. Oh, oh, this is very big. Okay. Gotta get that single bed. <laughs> I always like that there was a double bed in this, uh, survival game where you're completely alone. Um, oh, counter? Oh, I think there's something on the top of the counter there, too. Snow Fox? Oh, is it like a... like a snowmobile? Oh, it is. Oh, it's like a hover bike. Weird. <laughs> Bobby, I know I'm having the same problem. I'm, I'm fully expecting every first person game to just behave like Apex now. What is that? Oh, it's aliens. Okay. <laughs> Oops, it's aliens. It's all aliens. Let's get rid of this titanium, which nobody needs. Um, I want to make sure I explore all this stuff before I go to alien zone. Please read Spy Pangling PDA. <laughs> okay, where is this? Um, personal logs. Mm. Oh! Research continues to go well. The spy penguin adds many more opportunities to research this incredible planet, allowing us to reach areas we previously could not reach. Native life seems to respond well to the spy penguin with minimal attacks to the penguin. Using the penguin in a field, in the field, will become a focus moving forward. Uh, so <laughs> I guess that's foreshadowing the fact that you can get a little pet that, that does stuff. Or maybe, maybe that's just a joke and you can't. That is a very big hover pad. <laughs> what is this? I guess that's just another hover pad thing. Cold suit. Okay, there we go. 
kind of more excited about the bar table, if I'm being honest, but I'll take a cold suit. Ooh, a fridge. Why would you need a fridge? Why would you need a fridge? Nobody needs a fridge here. This feels like something scannable, but I guess it's not. Like this feels like one of those vehicle bays, but... Hmm. Oh, a picture frame. Can you put up a picture frame and then put a screenshot in it? I really hope so. Finding some good stuff. Alright, let's go to aliens, I guess. I think that's more or less everything. Aliens, aliens. Uh, oh. Our neighbor's dog is barking. He's being very good about it, though. Um, well, I don't know if this is anything other than just like, hey, there are aliens. <laughs> we definitely just woke up. Yeah, I guess this is one of those portals and it's just broken. Maybe if you complete it, you can go to the other game. Uh, I guess that's it. It seems like that was everything. So what blueprints do I actually have now? Uh, well, I can... Oh! <laughs> Tasteless American water! <laughs> uh, that's cool. I can make a thermos. Um... Very close to the mobile vehicle bay. Not quite. And various levels of completion on the sea truck. And then I've got the scan scanner room? I don't remember getting the whole scanner room. Um, looks like I can basically make a base. This recharges and repairs the hover bike, but it is not related to the hover bike itself. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm going to go. But I do feel like this distress call... Oh, okay. It's light outside. This will help, probably. I feel like I haven't really, like, advanced the story in this area. I feel like uh, there's got to be something here that I can... Oh, maybe that PDA, I guess, that I picked up. Uh... Hot springs. That helps the uh, coldness as well. So, ugh, I mean, hail done. Oh, I think the hail increases the uh, speed of the hypothermia. So, I guess that's why you don't want to go out when there's bad weather. Um, Oh, here's a thing. Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> that looks so much more threatening than anything underwater. Um, I guess that's why you need that speed bike. Ooh, what's this? Glacial research notes. Plants that survive in this frozen expanse without light strangely absorb all incoming light and turn it into biolucent fluid trapped in their bulbs. I think Toby just heard the other dog. Oh yeah, he's barking. Whoops. Man, I am feeling tired enough that I may not make dinner as I had intended. It might be pizza night. Ooh. God, this game really is just like the perfect combination of open world stuff for me. Like, nobody to talk to. Oh no! Uh, no one you have to talk to. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Uh, oh no! Oh! Oh no! It caught me in midair! <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, oh no, wait, what? Oh, that was weird. Oh, I was like on some... Okay. Uh. Alright. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Wow, that thing caught me in mid-air with that, uh... With that grabby animation. Um... Oh, boy. Where, where's the way out of here, though? I guess this way? Oh, I'm feeling kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> you don't like the monster superhero? I will say the monsters, you know, yeah, they, they do a good job making them feel spooky, uh, particularly in this game. Wait, did I just go? I think I just went in circles. I did. I definitely went in circles. Okay. Um, let's take a peek and see if that guy's gone. Oh, wait, no. Is this, is this where I started? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe he was up here, and then I went... Hmm, I don't see... The... Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, that was where I came from. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm... Definitely a little. F ah! <laughs> I like that the character put their arms up. Um, oh no! Mm. Let's go faster. Oh jeez, I'm gonna run this way. Uh. Ah! No! Oh, no. I probably need, like, a gun. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, okay. Well, now I can scan it. Whoa, that is a wild effect. I'm surprised, uh, being the kind of game this is, that there's no, um, 
like harvest meat from the thing. It's just a purely defensive measure. Ooh, this is interesting up here. Wow. They really nailed the feeling of being like in a very cold, like the, the look of the sky is, um, just reminds me of going skiing. It's just the right shade of blue. Ah, is this where I started maybe? Or is this a totally different area? Whoa, oh no, oh no, ouch. They all look like they're staring up at some, like, you know, foreboding uh, something in the sky. I can't pick them up. I don't think that's a thing. You can pick up snow. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, another cave or something over here, maybe? Oh, that's another monster over there. Oh, there's a tiny one, maybe. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, they don't like that I took it. Okay. Mm, a young chicks, okay. So I'm not I'm not making that up. I mean I suppose you know, maybe 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 I am making up some does it have something to do with being at the pole, you know? And less about the uh altitude or uh temperature. I would guess that that's true. Maybe I'm just associating it with like nature documentaries. Um so wait, I'm gonna get my bearings here. So that's where the pot is. The big ship thing. Oh, well, I'm pretty far from where I started then. This is a totally different area of this island. Oh, it's a baby one of these. Can I pick this up? Oh, you can pet it. Uh oh, but that's the mom. Oh God. Okay. Running. Maybe the mom liked that I pet, pet, the, pet the baby. Maybe I'm a friend, a friend to them. Oh, okay. This one is gated like a traditional, <laughs> traditional game in that uh, you're gonna need like the laser gun to get past this. Less about, oh geez. Feed it penguins, oh, I bet that is a thing. Ah. <laughs> oh, they can swim! Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that was very unexpected. I don't like it. Um, at least I've got this thing. Uh, okay, so I don't think I went... Hmm, I think this is new. Or is this just part of that cave where the uh, big monster was? Yeah, I think that's just, this is just another entrance. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you can stealth past those, those, uh, whatever they are. Wow. I really don't, this is so nitpicky and stupid to even talk about, but I really don't like the solution of just like making the moon move this fast simply because the, uh, I mean, I guess in this case, the fiction is just that it's that close and it's moving that fast. 
But because of the day-night cycle being so short, I think may, might be another reason often that games do this. And I, I just, I, but see, this one's not moving. So I guess they're just going with the idea that this is just uh, orbiting at a slower rate or not orbiting at all, even. I mean, I guess it has to orbit, but it's it's just glacially slow in comparison to this. Um, yeah, I much prefer it to, to look less uh, dynamic. Um, I am so lost. I'm, I'm probably going to die in here if I don't just find an exit eventually. That <laughs> wasn't even intentional, Bobby. Um, oh, is that another door? Hmm. Or is that where I came from? Ouch. Ah. Oh, I see something beeping, or uh, blinking. It's probably beeping. Hmm. What are you? Oh! You gotta use the spy penguin! <laughs> I can't get through. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta use my spy penguin. Okay. Weird. That is definitely a weird addition. Oh wow. Oh wow. Something just growled from that direction, so I'm gonna go this way. Actually, it might be in this cave. Oh, it's a baby. Um. Oh boy. I mean, these are all just the little, you know, the little ones so far. Oh, something blinking over here. Hmm. These areas are a lot more fun to explore than the uh, on-land areas of the original game. This is this is quite well done. Uh. Although I didn't really get much from this, huh? Hmm, so wait, is this... Is this where, uh, The penguin could have gone in, or... Maybe. sure going down yeah okay <laughs> going down maybe not the right choice um, yeah, I don't have anything to get past this um, Well, I guess I'm turning around. Uh, let's see. Bite. 
Oh, oh, there is a little, uh... Ouch. Okay, let's get out of here. My mama showed up finally. Um, all right. I don't know where to go now. This is a really cool area, but I have absolutely no idea where the exit is. Um, I think that's a good idea, Isis. Oh, hi, Mark. How are you? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> another penguin zone. Amazing. So you need your spy penguin for a lot of this, I guess. Something just... Oh, wait. Oh, that's just snow. interesting <laughs> dead end that they've created here. Is there anything down here? No. I wonder if you'll eventually get some kind of laser heat thing that will let you melt these ice walls. It kind of feels like that's the case. Because they're a bit transparent and they... It doesn't seem like that's just done, being done for effect. I think that's something that you'll be able to do. Um, oh shoot, I need to warm up. I think that's the water though. Oh, this is a new area. Okay, cool. Oh no, that's ice. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh wait, I think these are all technically hot, these little pools, hopefully. Uh... Dangerous weather. Nope. Oh shoot. Oh, there's a vent. Uh oh, this is bad. I'm gonna be sad. I am gonna be sad. Okay, come on, vent. Come on, vent. Oh, vent. No. Should I just run for this one? I'll just run for this one. Oh, no. No. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That was um, wonderful. I don't know what killed me, actually. I have no idea. Well, we're back at the base. It's kind of what I wanted to do, although I, yeah, lost some stuff. Um, hmm. Well, let's fabricate. Um, I'm just remembering that I don't think I can make base pieces without the, I need the, um, oh, geez, to make the suit, you gotta, you gotta kill those guys. Uh. Uh, yeah, I need the um, the thing, the thing that makes the base pieces, the uh, the builder, <laughs> the builder tool. I don't know, <laughs> um, which I don't have. I actually can't make a base yet. Hmm. Well, I think I was definitely running before I was walking there. Uh, that was a little bit too intense. 
I think it's just a thing you have to find, Isis. I think it's just like any of the other tools. You've got to find the blueprint for it. Um, oh, shoot. I don't have another battery. Okay. Uh, i got to find more ribbon things. Guess I should play more of the... Uh, Subnautic part of this subnautic game before I. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think so, Isis. You definitely don't start with it. Um, it's called, like, construction gun or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely a specific thing. Um. I mean, maybe you just find one somewhere, like a whole thing, and you don't have to actually, like, craft it. Oh, jeez. So, I feel like the biggest curmudgeon in the world by admitting this, but I really don't like Fall Guys. <laughs> I, I just, I, I really tried to give it a shot off stream before I potentially streamed it, and I, I just, man, I bounce, I'm bouncing off of it every time I, every time I uh, give it another chance. Yeah, it just feels miserable to play, Bobby. I agree. It's like, and it's not, I don't even think it's necessarily that it's it's meant to just be kind of arbitrary. Like, I don't, I don't dislike that I'm losing. I guess I just dislike that I'm losing for like, really, uh, just like these moments where I feel like I'm completely out of control of my character or like anything. Um, and, uh, it's not, a, and again, it's not even like, I'm like, oh darn, I really wanted to win. It's just like, what just happened? I guess I, all right. I don't know, it just, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very strange yeah, experience. I mean, I guess it's interesting going to that versus playing something like Apex where like, um, Fall Guys is specifically designed to be this like cutesy, funny game, but I find it much more frustrating to play than something like Apex, which I, it's a, that's a very interesting, uh, dichotomy to me. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess it is meant to be trolly, right? But that just feels annoying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to be trolled by the game. Um, I don't know. <sighs> Oh, Toby. All right, let's make some batteries, I guess. I mean, I really need to find, like, some more stuff. Yeah, PM, I guess it's just that, like, actually being on one of those shows would probably be a disaster. Like, it, would just, it wouldn't be fun, so they're accurately creating the experience of that, but it's, like, not a fun experience. I don't know. Um, it's a weird one. It feels like, um, to some degree, it must just be getting attention because of how it's essentially just a big meme, but, um, yeah, I, I don't, I could not see myself playing that, uh, any more than I have.
Like, I think the reason that I find a game like, well, it's dangerous to talk about Dark Souls and Problem Machines here and participating in chat, but uh, <laughs> the, I think the thing that I like about Dark Souls is that it gives you so much control that when you are hoisted, you really feel that hoisting. Um, and it, it just becomes hilarious because of how um, 30 seconds. just demolishing it is, you know? Whereas in Fall Guys, it's just like, I, I couldn't have possibly done this, so therefore, okay. <laughs> you know, like, it's just that literally 50 people pushed me off a thing. All right. You know, it just feels, uh, it's like a carpet bombing of petards, which is, I prefer the smart bomb version. I'm not going to find anything down here. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I'm kind of low on food and stuff. I guess that's the stuff that I lost. That's a bummer. thought I saw like a base or something for a second, but it was just a fish. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oxygen. Oh yeah, I think that's definitely true, PM. You can definitely be good at it. Um, it just feels like a very frustrating thing to get good at. Pizza or burrito? That is the thing that's on my mind right now. Calzone. Uh, I don't know that I like calzones. I've definitely eaten a good, good number of them, but. Um, Okay, whatever. Calzones are great, sure. You know what I really like is stromboli. I would like to make some stromboli. Got stuff. Now it's just a matter of, I guess, yeah, trying to figure out. I mean, yeah, it's weird. I the distress call didn't end up giving me much except for just things that I can't build. I guess maybe one of these PDAs might have something. I mean, the radio quest system in the original game kept dripping things out, but that doesn't exist here, so I'm not really sure what to do now. Uh, Wait, potato pod? <laughs> Wait, what? They're talking about potatoes and spy penglings? Did you, like, work on this game, Potato? I'm very confused. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, I don't know that any of this is going to help me. Ooh, 
aquarium module. That's cool. I'm gonna build all the stuff. I guess I just have to explore more. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I feel like that distress call probably is some kind of, you know, not maybe not a gate, but like I, I probably should have picked something up over there that I didn't. I feel like maybe I'm a little behind now. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. I just. And the thing about Kelzones is that you you just I don't know. There's only so much you can do with it, right? Ooh. Oh darn. Just one of those things. <laughs> I mean also fine, let's just go there. I think I think Kelzones have an inherent issue in that they are like so good at retaining heat that if you eat a fresh calzone, you are very likely to burn your mouth in a way that you wouldn't with a piece of pizza necessarily. And uh, therefore, I give the edge to pizza just on that basis alone, let alone all the other things I get it to. But yeah, I think like, I don't know, number of times I burn my mouth on a calzone, probably pretty high. It is the hot pocket dilemma. Uh, the topping shouldn't slide off of a good piece of pizza slate. So if that's the case, then you're just here. Coral sh oh, I see, okay. Listen, I'm not saying I don't enjoy calzones. I just think, you know, Given the choice between a calzone and a good piece of pizza, I'll take the pizza every single time. Because with pizza, there's balance, right? Like, you can control how much bread and cheese and meat and all these things. I mean, I guess you can sort it with a calzone, but I feel like so often they're just, like, big pockets of gooey cheese, and it's just, like, this big sloppy mess. Also, not as easy to, like, save and reheat a calzone. Because they just kind of ooze... Oh yeah, just stop eating bad pizza. That's all you gotta do. All right, well, I don't know what else to find here. Hmm. I, yeah, I feel like I've uh, explored this zone somewhat thoroughly and haven't found much. Um, Maybe I need to go back to the distress call. Ooh. Okay, here's a little cave. Oh, mm, sea glide. Okay, so at this point, they just really want you to have the sea glide in this area. And I'm probably going to have to discover some other area to get the better stuff. I really like that we're at a place with the, our community here that we can talk about pizza and someone can say, no one should have bad pizza since Domino's is a thing, which is a fairly controversial thing to say probably, but like not amongst us, you know?
Yeah, the UK is a, a strange food scene in a lot of ways. I mean, there's a lot of good food, but they really do butcher certain... <laughs> I mean, Canada's the same way. Like, Canada, like, you just can't get Mexican food. It just, it's so bad. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can in, like, a couple different places here or there, but, like, at least in Vancouver, it was an absolute disaster. Um, and the pizza, generally speaking, was pretty bad. There were a few places that were, like, authentic Brooklyn pizza, and they actually did... There were literally two places that, that had good New York pizza, um, which is two more than I expected, but most of it's really bad. Fresh slice, oh god, it's, it's just terrible. And honestly, the other thing that surprised me in Canada, sandwich shops, really bad. <laughs> like, you know, just, they don't know how to make a sandwich, but I guess that's just simply because why have a sandwich when you can have Donair? Um, because Donaire is very good. So they never had to get good at it because they already had Donaire and it was just like, well, we'll just eat these instead. American pizza is bad, says Octosco. Octosco, we are going to have words. <laughs> oh, boy. Of all the institutions in the United States, American pizza is one of the best. One of the one of the ones that is not bad, let's say it that way. <laughs> I mean look here, here's the thing about Domino's, right? You know, and I I know there are a lot of people out there who would, who would, who don't subscribe to this kind of thinking, but I don't, I, I think that places like Starbucks and Domino's, you know, let's ignore the fact that I, I know very little about their own sort of, you know, corporate politics or anything as to whether or not they're actually good companies. But I think the general like raising of the bar <laughs> um, of a particular thing is, is not, is not, even though that those institutions are not actually making the best version of it or like even necessarily a good version of it, I think like the raising of the bar is of the uh, of that particular cuisine is not a necessarily a bad thing. Uh, Kier, I don't know that you've spent enough time uh, <laughs> In, in small towns in, 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 in this country. There's some really bad pizza out there. A good Domino's pizza is better than a lot of pizza in, in the middle of nowhere. I'm just saying, you know, I think it's tempting to be an elitist about this kind of thing, but I, I mean, I've spent time in some really small towns that really could use Domino's. And so I don't think it's necessarily bad that, that that's uh, that they exist. I'm gonna try to go down here, but I think I can't really explore much. It's uh, it's pretty deep, and I just have this stupid sea glide. Yeah, I mean, I agree, Breeden, um, but I'm also just like, I have very strong opinions about the, uh, about pizza in general, but also just like New York, like, oh man, New York pizza, New York pizza is really tough to beat. I won't even, I mean, a, a good, a really good slice of New York pizza is, is I'll just say it, it's better than Detroit pizza. It just is. A really good slice of New York pizza is the best pizza in the world. It just it's just it's just a fact. Hmm. 
Never had New York pizza that was good? Oh, wow. This is a strange chat room right now. <laughs> New York pizza is weak and feeble. Oh, wow. Go to Joe's. Uh, pick any location you want, but mm, let's just say, like, Lower East Side. Or Lower West Side, rather. Bad cheese on bad crust? It's the best crust you can make for pizza. I mean, it's just absolutely, without a question, the best, the best crust. Beef dish isn't pizza. <laughs> I'm just gonna, this is just, this is me like, we, we talked about Fall Guys, maybe I just decided to really troll chat, but I, I don't think beef dish is pizza. It's definitely just a casserole, let's, let's just say that much. Um, I love deep dish, but it, it's definitely, to me, it's, it's lower on the food chain than actual pizza. I think we found the uh, the person who lives uh, in the Chicago area. <laughs> Did I just dox you, Isis, by uh, by starting this discussion? <laughs> hey, listen, I grew up with Uno's uh, and uh, any number of other deep dish places. I'll eat a deep dish any day of the week, but. I mean, and there's a really good deep dish place right down the street from us. Um, uh, but uh, okay, Isis. So I've had Little Star like a hundred times in my life, and probably like half of them were deep dish. Um, so we're talking. We we are, we are speaking the same language. Languages. So I just I just disagree. <laughs> I mean, I agree that it's good, but I've also been to New York City many times and had really good New York pizza, and it is just better. It just is. I, I don't know what else to say. I will say this much. I think on Little Star's menu, um, their, um, their uh, um, white pie is actually the best thing. The thin crust white pie. That, that's, that's my go-to. Oh, I should make a locker, another locker, yeah. New York pizza is my least favorite American style. I honestly think that this must just be that people haven't been to the good New York pizza places. <laughs> I mean, you can go to New York and get some bad pizza just like anywhere else, but man, if you've had like good New York pizza, it's like a New York bagel. It just nothing else compares at that point. Uh, where's the locker? Okay. Oh my God, Cure. <laughs> I have not disagreed with uh, a food chat like this in quite some time. Again, I, I highly suspect that you haven't had the right New York bagel then. Because it's true that not every New York bagel is good. But uh, the good ones are just vastly uh, better than most bagels in the world. What is happening? It's just not opening my inventory. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Mm, I think you can make a, the best version of a thing, and it, it, that, that means that the thing isn't good. There we go, okay. Get rid of these flares. I mean, I don't think you can really like take the mean, you know, the mean average of uh, of all of one type of food, and then try to figure out whether it's, you know, to your taste or not. I think 
Very often I find I have to have the really good version of something before I even like it. Um, and then I can kind of bring down my, my quality bar from there. I just want your bagels. Uh, do we really not have any New Yorkers in our, our community here that can that can stand with me in solidarity? I'm 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 kind of surprised. Where are the New Yorkers? Well, Derek, Derek, um, Derek Lou is a New Yorker now, although just just newly. Um, I don't know, Kira, have you been to New York City? I mean, listen, I'm, I'm in San Francisco. I have a lot of opinions about San Francisco food, too. Positive opinions. But... New York is... an incredibly amazing place to eat some food. I think it's unfair to call me an elitist when I'm sitting here advocating for Domino's. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, sandwiches are the ideal foodstuffs. Oh, you mean like a calzone? I don't really know where to go. Maybe I'm just kind of running out of steam as far as uh, playing Subnautic for the day. Mmm, Stromboli. God, now I just... I, of all the things we've talked about today, Stromboli is the one that I actually really want. Hey, Frampus. I, I, I've always just called them hot dogs regardless of the uh, packaging. Ooh. Oh, wait. I think that's just the tentacle thing. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything for me. This looks... New though, I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe that's just land. Hmm. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh, of course. What is that?
Oh, it was just another glacier. Well, shoot. I could never get into natural selection. I know everybody lost their minds over it, but I the few times I played it, it just, I, I don't know, maybe I just didn't learn enough about it. What was the hook of natural selection? Like what was, is there like a kind of central hook or was it just kind of like a? That's got to be something. Oh, right. There was a commandery type thing. Right, 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 right. This has got to be something man-made, I think, right? Or it's just like an unfinished asset? <laughs> I don't know what this is. What? Oh? Uh, what? Is this... Oh, it just starts at the surface? Weird. What is this thing? Wah! Okay. I don't understand what that is. <laughs> that's what I keep thinking, PM, but I'm just like... That's a pretty big mistake to just leave in the game, even if it's early access. I feel like that's got to be intentional, but I have no idea what it could be. And we're not that far from things that are real, so I don't... What in the world? It looks like there's something on top of it. I wish I could zoom. Like, what is that? Oh! Uh, okay, maybe it is just an error. <laughs> Well, there are aliens in this game, Frappus, so... Okay, yeah, this is just something weird. Oh, it doesn't have collision. Or wait, maybe it does. Uh, it does. It does. Oh, you know what? Okay, I've just reached the limits of like things that are finished. <laughs> this is all uh, temp and buggy. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just not gonna explore that way. Um, I don't know, Frampus, you just reminded me I gotta, I gotta 
hold the big babies and see what we're going to do for the next few weeks. I just uh, completely forgot to do that today. Um, but I will try to uh, put that together before, well certainly hopefully by tomorrow so that we can know what we're doing on Saturday. Um, well, I don't know where to go right now, and it's been about two hours, so I might just sign off and order a pizza. My wrist feels good, so I'm gonna like, maybe just call it before that's not the case, and uh, try to uh, improve my habits here. Uh, rabbit, maybe, maybe just to just to cap off that conversation, maybe, yeah. But probably not. We have some good New York pizza uh, near us. It's not actually traditional New York pizza. It's this wild, wild thing. I, if I described it, everyone would say it, it sounds gross. Um, so I'm not going to. But it. It's like a very thick, I mean, I'm gonna describe it. I, I don't know why I said I wasn't going to. It's a very thick, very large piece of pizza with a quite bready crust and cheese and stuff. And then what they do is they make this soup almost. To me, it tastes like, my mom used to make um, <laughs> this sort of uh, bullshit dish, um, zucchini casserole. And it, it called for, the base of it was made with Campbell's chicken uh, cream of chicken soup uh, which again sounds terrible it was actually really tasty um it kind of tastes like that a little bit it, but it's artichoke so the the pizza is like an artichoke pizza and then this soup that they make sauce i guess it's i guess technically it's a sauce but it's it, to me it's just like soup um the sauce is made with um i don't know like 20 different ingredients but it, i think at the end of the day there's some artichokes in the sauce um and uh, it's so good. Um, it's just, it's outrageously good. It's the kind of thing that I wasn't quite even, sh I wasn't sure whether Janelle would like it. And even she was like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> um, it's like nothing I've ever tasted. It's unlike any other pizza I've ever had. Um, it's just got this very rich, savory, uh, Flavor. And the bread is the bre the the crust is thick enough to kind of sustain that sauce because it's very it's it's not a very thick sauce really at the end of the day it kind of bakes onto the slice anyway it's it's just an absurdly good piece of pizza I'm not even like a big um, usually if I order pizza I'm gonna it's gonna have pepperoni or sausage or something on it but this is so good I've just been it's been hard not to order it every time I am from the Midwest rabbit yeah. Uh, this is new. Wait, or is it? I think this is new. I don't remember this bridge, but maybe I saw it from above and didn't recognize it as a bridge. Oh, no, this is where I landed for the distress call. Okay. <laughs> you knew from the casserole. That's hilarious. Yeah. Zucchini casserole is pretty good, actually. You know, and in fact, maybe someday I'll do a cooking stream and make zucchini casserole. Um, it sounds bad, but Dangerous I made it for Janelle once and she liked it. Seek shelter. I could probably improve on it, come to think of it. There are probably some modern cooking techniques that could improve that recipe. Um, I don't remember this bridge. I think maybe I just didn't go this way. I think I found the distress call coming from a different angle, and so this is, this is totally new. What are these? Oh, requires hydraulic fluid for operation. Oh, so this is like a thing that we're going to unlock here. Cream of chicken soup. It's good. 
it's kind of hard to find sometimes. But yeah, it's like zucchini, um, diced carrot, diced onion, um, and I think also like some. There's a bread. In, I think it's like croutons. I think you just throw croutons in there or something. <laughs> I think there's bread in it. Yeah, there is. Um, maybe it's just like cubed bread. No, it's croutons because then they don't dissolve. They can sort of stand up to the to the casserole, but um, yeah, we still haven't found the thing that lets you make the base, Richard. So I'm, it's it's definitely not outrageous at all. Uh, oh, that's a cube though. Hmm. Energy generator. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I probably could have picked up that other cube too. Yeah, okay. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh, geez. Vital signs stabilizing. Well, still haven't found the things I need to find, but it's good exploring. I mean, I, I really like walking around this game. I guess it is a bit early, so I wonder if I should actually, if I, if I need a Subnautica fix, maybe I should go back to the original and do a super hardcore permadeath kind of a thing. I don't know. I can't tell if that would end up being a boring stream because I'm just too well versed in the game at this point. It's hard for me to gauge. This is fun to check out though. <laughs> yeah, well, Bobby, I mean, I'm sure you can have, uh, you know, you can program like Alexa or something to yell at you. If I could, the next cooking stream would absolutely be New York pizza, but I just don't have an oven that can do it. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. That'll be my eating stream. Uh, whenever someone far cries that. This cave looks like it might be promising. This way. Ooh. Calorie intake recommended. Oh no, it's all rotten. Oh shoot. I'm gonna starve to death. Well, darn. <laughs> also, I think some of these caves just don't have things in them because they, the game's not done. Um I did want to mess around with that uh with the new vehicles and stuff, but maybe I should just back out of this game because it's not finished. I should order a pizza PM. I think I'm going to do that. Um, oh, I can't grab... Oh. You. Vital signs stabilizing. Ah, oh, I already found it. I found a thousand sea glide fragments. All right, I'm actually going to call it and go order that pizza now or whatever we end up eating. Um, oh, it's Toby's dinner time too. I can hear him 
prancing around in the background. Uh, have a great rest of your day, everybody. Um, I, uh, definitely going to go right to the discord and, uh, try to find some fellow New York pizza advocates. But, um, <laughs> if, uh, I'm, I'm just straight up going to die here. Oh, I ate the rotten stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Uh, oh, I should save though. Okay, um, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. I don't know, let's see. I will probably stream, I'm gonna definitely stream at least once. I don't know that I'll stream in the morning. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I'm still like recovering from being extremely overwhelmed and tired. Um, but I will definitely do an afternoon stream Maybe, um, maybe like regular Subnautica or something else. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm going to just kind of play whatever I feel like playing this week. And then um, next week, it's going to be a lot of backer requests and also Flight Simulator, which I'm extremely excited about. Anyway, um, I will see you all tomorrow, probably around the old usual time of like three or four Pacific. And uh, yeah, have a great day, everybody. Wash your hands. Take care. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. <laughs> Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No! <laughs> I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Get over the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> The hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> Join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket propelled grenade. Oh no, no, <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No. I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Oh, what? Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my God, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th th this part's not going to be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi. This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures, and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. <laughs> you piece of shit! You did it! That was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this is a much better size for my face.
This should be censored. <laughs>